hello everyone in this video first we will see how we can create array and then we will see how we can implement java arrays using IntelliJ. now first what is array array are used to store multiple values in a single variable instead of declaring separate variables for each value arrays can contain any type of element value example int double or objects but you can't store different types in a single array. You can have an array of integer or an array of string, or, but you can have an array that contain, for example, both string and integers. For instance, an array of int is a collection of variables of the type int. The variables in the array are ordered and each have an index. Here is an illustration. You can see at index 0 there is one value, index 3 has 23 value, so all the values are index based. Now let's talk about advantages. Code optimization, it makes the code optimized, we can retrieve or sort data efficiently, random access, we can access random data. What are disadvantages? Size is limit, we can show only the fixed size of elements in the array. It doesn't grow, its size at one time. To solve this problem, collection framework we use types of array, single dimensional array and multi-dimensional array. Now let's talk about single dimensional array. Single dimensional array shows a list of variables of the same data type and we can access them using the index value. Now let's talk about multi-dimensional array. 2D array or multi-dimensional array shows data in a format Consisting of rows and columns, to-do array is a type of array that shows multiple data elements of the same type in matrix or table-like format with a number of rows and columns. You can see 0 to 4 is rows and 0 to 4 are columns. Now let's see how we can practically implement single dimensional array. Now we will practically see how we can create array in Java. First, what is Java Array? Java Array is an object which contains element of a similar data type. Similar data type means if you have created an array of integer type, then only you can store integer type of data in it. If you have created a float type array, you can only store float type values in it. You cannot store float type of values in int type of array. If you want to show a similar type of data only, this is allowed in Java array. It is a data structure where we store similar elements. We can store only a fixed set of elements in a Java array. Array in Java is index based. The first element of the array is stored at the index, zeroth index. When we can use array? Consider a scenario when you want to store one student marks like what he got in English, Math, Science. So suppose in English it got 40, in Math 45, in Science 46. So what you will do, you will create every time variable like English marks 40, Math marks 50, Science marks 60. So every time you will create a variable and store the value of that marks. But you can do another thing. The another thing is create a Java array for that student so you will store all the marks of that student in a Java array. So in this way, you don't need to create a variable again and again, and you can easily manipulate these value and you can store in a Java array. And also there is one advantage of Java array that they will provide you random access. We can get any data located at any index position. Now we will see how practically we can Declare array, instantiation of array, how we can assign the value and how we can iterate uh, array. First, we will see how to create, how to declare array. First, you will write integer. I am writing integer because I am going to create an integer type of array. If you want to create a double type of array, you will write double. So now I am going to create an integer type of array. Bracket square bracket a this 
this is the first syntax to declare array you can write this or this or you can also write this okay so and um, what are the another ways another ways is you can write another ways you can write int a this int square bracket first a this a is here is the name of java array name a is the array name you can give any name here now you have declared the array that a is of integer type if you want to instantiate an array now you will write a equal to new int same again data type this and in between the square bracket you will write the size of the array if you want four i want to store four values so that's why i have given four so we have declared the array we have instantiate the array new keyword helps you to instantiation array before that we have only just declared not instantiated in this line we have actually created an array that means a fixed size array of size 4 now if you want to store the value of this array what you will write when we when we give 4 here what it means it means array a is created from 0 1 2 3 index that means we can use its 0 1 2 3 total four values we can store but the index is started from zero because array is index based so you will write array zero and you will give value i want to store five here at first index i want to give six value at second index i want to store seven value at index three now i will i have given the values to the array 0 1 2 3 4 now i will print now i will print array value like for example i want to get array second value and now we will run this and see whether we will able to get value 7 because at second index we have stored value 7 so it should print 7 so this is 7 now if you try to print value out of array you have created an array for four values only what if if I try to print a5 let's see what happens so it says java lang array index out of bound exception that means we are going out of bound exception we are assessing the array it's out of bound we are not permitted to use this array value at five position because it is going out of bound we cannot access this this is the main thing now if you want to iterate if you want to access all the values in java in array how you can do that we will do this using for loop we will create for loop int i equal to zero we will iterate to the size we can get the size we can get the length of the array And I plus plus we will start from it 0 and we will go to array length first you will see if we print array length what will what we will get if we print array dot length this is the function we can use on array oh. 
let me just let me just comment it now we will see let me just comment it and change this to two system dot out a dot length c4 this is the same number which you have declared here you will get exactly the same number a dot length that is the length of the array from here so if you want to access each value it you the array will start from zero it start from zeroth index and every iteration it will increment one two three and we will print that value and it will goes up to a dot length we'll write system dot out dot print in it a ith value now we will run this program and see the values let me comment this statement let me run it again see five six seven eight these are the, all the values we have shown so this is the way we can create a single dimensional array in java also one thing more instead of writing new keyword here you can do another thing let me just comment this another way you can declare a variable another way how you can create an array in java by not using new keyword what you can do you can store you can write curly bracket and you can give any values like 5 2 1 5 this line will also create an array but of size 0 1 2 3 4 5 so by writing this statement it will automatically create new int 5 values for you just you have to write values so this part is called initialization of array this is called declaration this is called declaration this line is known as instantiation and this line is known as initialization of java array in by using this line what we did we declared instantiation and initialization you can do this in a single step so now if i run this program what should be the output 52156 let's run this program 52156 so this is how you can create single dimensional array in java in next video we will see how we can create multi-dimensional array in java and more about arrays Thank you for watching and keep watching. Please subscribe. Thank you.